Hi Tubas, welcome back. Today on Accent Book 2, we're going to do page number 8. On page 8, it's half steps and whole steps. On a piano keyboard, the distance between any two notes that are next to each other is called a half step. If there's a note in between, then it's a whole step. Two half steps equal one whole step. Use the piano diagram on the top of the page and see if you can understand what that means. They give us some examples. From A to B flat, there's a half step. But from the note A to the note B, well, that's a whole step because there's a note in between, B flat, A sharp. Our first exercise today is number 21, different steps. Last video, we talked about cut time, and this exercise is in cut time. Cut time, or a la breve, or 2-2 two, two time, is where we take all of the values of the notes and reduce them by half. So a whole note wouldn't get four, it'll get two. A half note won't get two, it'll get one. And a quarter note, won't get one beat, it'll get a half. So let's pra practice that with number 21, different steps. You'll see on this exercise that they have the half steps and whole steps marked with a triangle and a square symbol. More on that at the bottom of today's page. Here we go, number 21, starting on F. Our second note is E natural. One and two and ready, go. Let's do it again. One, two and ready, go. Next, we'll move on to number 22, Up on the Housetop. This is a traditional carol, and it's one that my students often enjoy playing. So this might be the exercise that you pause, practice, rewind, and review. Join me, and let's play Up on the Housetop. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. Nicely done. I hope you enjoyed that one. Number 23 is the page duet, Zoom Golly Golly, Israeli folk song. This piece has four flats, B flat, E flat, first valve, A flat, first valve, and two and three for D flat as you need it. Occasionally, though, we'll put an E natural, especially if we're playing line B. So I'll start by playing part A. You can join me, or you could play part B for an instant duet. One, two, one, two, and ready, go. And now let's do part B. And one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Thank you. 
and zoom, golly, golly. So if you made any mistakes, now is the time to grab the pencil and mark those mistakes so that when you repractice, you can repurpose that energy and you can re you can make the, fix those mistakes. You can fix them up by marking them and you'll never make that mistake again. Now, the last exercise is the accent on theory and it's identifying the half steps and whole steps. Remember like they did up in number 21. We're going to do something similar down here in 24. Using a pencil, label all the half steps with the triangle and label all the whole steps with the square symbol and then play it. Let's go and play through this one time and then you can use your pencil and mark it in. Here we go. There's two notes in here that you may not know. The third note, F sharp, that's second and third valve. Grab the pencil and mark it. And the sixth note is B natural. That's first and second. Mark that one as well. While I'm looking at it, there's one more I want to point out. It's in measure number five, that high note, it's a D. And that is no valves or open valves. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, and. And there you go. So now grab that pencil and mark those half steps and whole steps. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope that you'll consider using it again as you need to, to make progress. So until I see you next time, keep practicing. Thank you.